Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest Diagnostic World video. Uh, in this video we are in a Porsche 911 and we have a check engine light on the dashboard here uh, of the vehicle. Now as you probably worked out from the title of the video, uh, we're going to be talking about what are the probable reasons why the, uh, the check engine light may well be illuminated in your Porsche. Now, if you've got a, a check engine light come on on your Porsche, it's probably quite a worrying time uh, because you know th these vehicles they're not cheap to fix. So um, you may well be thinking, well, is this going to cost me a lot of money? Um, you may also have put a post on like a forum, like a Facebook page or a Porsche forum, uh, which is totally understandable. Saying, look, I've got a check engine light. Uh, can anyone tell me what the problem is? And there, unfortunately, lies the problem because although everybody on that forum or on that post will 100% without doubt be trying to help you um, it can give very very mixed signals and um, sort of mixed messages about what the actual problem is with the vehicle as an example you know we see posts where somebody will say can you can anyone tell me what the reason for the check engine light is and you'll get one person saying it's definitely an O2 sensor and you'll get the next person say it's definitely an ig the ignition coils so how do you know which who's speaking the truth um, the the truth is that probably both of those were speaking the truth the a check engine light is kind of like, if you think of it as this, it's like an umbrella, okay? And within that umbrella, there are lots of different parts put within that umbrella. So it can be one of many different components within that engine system. It's not going to be whatever somebody says it is online. Well, it might be, but the chances of it being that are quite slim. Um, there are lots of different components, as I say, and you need to know sort of how to find out which of those components is uh, the, the correct reason why the check engine light is on. Um, and that's why we'd recommend one of these tools. It's a POR version 1.0 tool, and I'll pop the link to this kit in the description below this video. But if I was to sort of say to you right now and what I'm going to do is in a moment is we'll we'll go through diagnosing and resetting this check engine light with this tool okay but if I was to say to you now or if somebody was to say to me look what are the probable reasons why the check engine light would be on if it was best case scenario and what I mean by best case scenario is something like a sensor something that a DIYer could actually change for themselves uh, without it being like some sort of catastrophic engine damage uh, where the engines just turned it butter or chocolate um, so things like any any sensor really so like a camshaft sensor a map sensor a MAF sensor MAF uh, it's mass airflow sensor the ignition coils can be changed at a DIY level or certainly not a super expensive problem the O2 sensors they, they can be changed uh, spark plugs it could even be something like a loose fuel cap honestly the amount of times I've seen posts saying oh it was my fuel cap I just hadn't tightened it properly um, so th that's definitely worth looking at It'll probably be the first thing um, it could be a catalytic converter fault um, or indeed if it wasn't any of those those are kind of best case scenarios it could be a real big internal uh, engine problem that you know the the, the average DIY isn't going to be able to fix themselves okay so we're hoping in your case that it's going to be sensor related um, now in this particular case the engine is running absolutely fine um, there was a problem with the uh, the O2 sensor which has been replaced so uh, as you can see though we've still got the check engine like we've still got the check engine visit workshop message in the message sender on the dashboard there so we're going to use this tool now to go in and just reset that fault okay and I'll show you what the fault code was as well and it gives you an idea of what the tool will tell you all right so if we click into diagnostics we we'll go to Porsche and what I'll do I'll go to vehicle select because this gives you an idea of what the tool uh, will currently cover so 992s 996 997 uh, 911s, the GT2, GT3, Spiders, Spocks, the Cayman 981, 982, that's a 718, uh, 986, 987. Cayennes, your Macans, your Panameras, and the Taycans as well. Not many, well, no Taycan owners are probably gonna have a check engine light. I don't know, do they have a check engine light? If there's, like, obviously it sounds daft because they don't have an engine, but do they have do they have a, a check engine light to symbolize that there is a fault with the, the, the running gear or the, uh, the, the, the transmission or something? I'm not entirely sure, but there we go. That's something for me to look at. Uh, but in this vehicle, it's a 997 
Carrera S. So we'll just go to 911997, here it is. And we'll go to control unit. So it gives you an idea of like, there's 33 different systems. So you've got engine, transmission, PSM, which is ABS, uh, Porsche supplement, impact protection, that's the airbag system. And then it goes to a load more different systems that I can potentially uh, connect with and diagnose in your vehicle. I'm just flicking through them here real quick but we'll get back to the engine electronics okay so we'll go to engine it's just gonna connect real quick and now it's gonna give us a few more options once it's connected to the engine system I'll we'll just wait for that so you can view live data from the engine system you can go in straight away and clear faults so you can read faults uh, I'd always recommend reading the faults and this is the fault that we're getting P0036 uh, heated O2 sensor control circuit bank one sensor two. So that's basically put us right in the hands of where what we need to change. We've, we've put the new sensor in, but as I say, the check engine light is still on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to clear fault memory. And when I do this, the check engine light has gone straight off. So we click okay to that. And we'll just go back in, read fault code, no fault code found. So the fault has been fixed, all right? Um, so in our case it was an O2 sensor all right but it could be you know any different sensor and what I would say is if you were getting the the information this like you got the fault code in the description if you weren't entirely sure what that meant put it into a Google search engine and I can guarantee if you're getting that fault somebody else will have also had that fault the answer will be there to exactly what you need to replace all right um, so that's definitely what I'd recommend and I certainly de definitely recommend getting this tool because without one of these tools or without taking it to a garage or a workshop you're just gonna be guessing as to what the problem is you might have an idea but it can get pretty expensive pretty quickly by continuing to buy parts that you don't actually need um, and in any case once you have replaced the part you need the tool to reset the fault codes and turn off the check engine light okay so um, it's just honestly if, if, if you're a Porsche owner and you haven't got one of these then I'd say life could get pretty expensive but if you get one of these tools it will uh, with me knowing Porsches like I've like I've had Porsches over the years for the last god I don't know what is it like 10 12 years something like that um, I know that these tools have come in extremely handy and they've saved me a ton of money. And I'm not just saying that um, because I am an enthusiast, I've had loads and loads of Porsches. So, and I, and, and I know what it's like when you, your dashboard lights up. It's very worrying, uh, but this can sort of get rid of any worry really and put the answer in your hands and it you know it gives you if you don't want to if you don't want to uh, get your hands dirty yourself at least you, you're armed with the information to take to the dealer take to the garage to say well this is the problem um, and I know you're not gonna sort of rip me off I know you're not gonna tell me that it's you know a B and C when it's only a so you know the, the, it puts the power in your hands essentially all right um, so I, I'll, I'll leave you with that information but hopefully it's given you a bit of an idea as to why the check engine light uh, may well be on in your Porsche thanks for watching guys I'll pop the link to this kit in the description below this video highly highly recommended for any Porsche user out there or owner or enthusiast thanks for watching and I hope this helps